Good morning. My name is Sharon and I would like to welcome you all very much to Competent Baptist's online service this morning. Whether you normally join us in the buildings at Competent Baptist Church normally, and that seems like a long time ago now, or whether you've been joining us from across the country online, or whether you've just happened across us as you've been browsing through the web, you are all extremely welcome and we're pleased to have you with us this morning. A number of people, different people will be taking part in this morning's service. Ify will be introducing our worship songs, which she has selected for us this morning. John Garnham is going to bring us a reading with, uh, I have to confess that I gave him this reading with lots of unpleasant uh, Old Testament names to tackle. So thank you, John, for being willing uh, to tackle those difficult names. Keith will be leading our uh, talk this morning and opening that passage up to us so that we can understand it better and see its relevance to us in today's world. And Sarah will be rounding off our service later on and signing the blessing from Numbers. So let's uh, begin our service with a uh, psalm from Psalm 47. Clap your hands, all you nations, shout to God with cries of joy. How awesome is the Lord Most High, the great King over all the earth. He subdued nations under us, peoples under our feet. He chose our inheritance for us, the pride of Jacob, whom he loved. God has ascended amid shouts of joy. The Lord, amid the sounding of trumpets, sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises to our King. Sing praises. I think he was getting a point across about singing praises. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing to him a psalm of praise. God reigns over the nations. God is seated on his holy throne. The nobles of the nations assemble as the people of the God of Abraham. For the kings of the earth belong to God. He is greatly exalted. It may seem difficult in these times to think about praising. And yet I think even before the pandemic, we all individually had periods of our lives when the last thing we wanted to do was praise. And yet God is worthy of our praise and the Bible tells us to praise. And my experience is, is even in those dark times when I don't feel like praising, if I do praise, it does alter my heart, it alters my perspective and it lifts my soul. Praise is something God knows is good for us. And I trust that as we praise through this song, the first song this morning, um, that you will find that too. I'll hand over to Ify. Thank you, Sharon. Good morning. Now, would you say you are a tea or a coffee person? And which brand do you tend to pick in the supermarket? And why? Hold that foot. We are now in the second week of our national lockdown. And for a lot of us, this means significant restrictions in our daily lives. It may mean working exclusively from home or perhaps seeking alternative ways of getting employed. It may mean not seeing our friends and family for a long time or attending school in a very different way. How do we cope with all these changes? We can trust in the brands that make our favourite foods to deliver high quality products consistently. And in the same way, we can also trust in the name of our God. And by his name, I mean his reputation. We will learn more from the book of 2 Kings later today that King Hezekiah did just that and God did not disappoint. So please join me as we sing our first song and have joy in the knowledge that we trust and believe in a God whose name never changes and whose reputation can be trusted, even in the bad and the good times. <laughs> 